Soccer 605 here with Coach Dave Dassler, head coach of the Washington Warrior Boys. Uh, pretty frustrating game for you there by a team that knows how to pack it in and defend, huh? Yeah, it was very frustrating. You know, I looked at their record year to date so far, and you know, they've been in every match. They've lost by one. It's not like they're getting blown out. So they know how to play, and they played a great style today. And um, we kind of ran out of some options on the top side, but they did fine. We we um, respect those guys. They know what they're doing. It's just it'll come for them, and we just ho we're hoping we would not be the team they break through on. So we'll take a tie versus a loss, but we were hoping for a win. Yeah, you know, you had uh, it seemed like you had room in the corners to play it in, and. Uh, you know, you, you have that big, uh, strong chance Huber up top that just he's irresistible for those guys to play down the middle. Yeah, we've got to be a little smarter about it, uh, attack a little bit more um, within the context of what we coach. Uh, we were hoping to be able to play that corner ball and then find chance as we cross the thing. But we got so excited to see him up there. We just passed right to him. So, mm, so much for that. Well, you know, the guys are out here for not only fun, but a little entertainment, and it is always fun. it is always entertaining when Chance gets the ball up there. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Um, I always tell them, um, players play, coaches coach, and they got to figure it out on the field. So we're going to have a little bit to talk about as we prepare for, uh, I believe it's Central coming up next. We've got to be able to be a little bit more patient, a little bit more connected, and at the last moment, we've got to sell something to get something. We can't play such linear style. Um, everybody's too good for that. So, You know, on the other end of the field uh, and in the middle, I thought your guys really did incredibly well and back, very organized. I don't know if your keeper had to make a real save, at least uh, while I was here watching. Um, they had a couple really nice opportunities that we were able to prevent. They had one nice shot at about the eight or so on the back post. Keeper played it well. Uh, beyond that, it was just a matter of back line making sure we don't miss uh, their big guy running through. And the secondary runners gave us a little bit of an issue today, but at the last moment, our mids were able to contain that. So, again, it wasn't that there were a lot of shots this match. It was just a matter of, okay, who's going to impose their will on the other team? And that's what a 0-0 tie is. Nobody could do it. Well, everybody has to kiss their sister every once in a while in <laughs> soccer. So, uh, well, so anyway, you know, uh, the end of the first season is very near. The second season is getting ready to start. What are your What are your guys going to have to do to uh, march out to Rapid City there and, and bring that cup back to Washington? You know, we're going to have to decide that we want to win. It's and, and again, I don't mean to make light of that, but a lot of guys want to play and they want to put again a, a, a big effort. But at the end of the day, you got to win. So we've got to set our heart a, a little more towards winning. Yeah, it's nice to contain the ball and hold the ball and minutes of possession. That's all cute in the stats, but there's really only one stat that we're playing for. You got to win. Got to win. So we've got to figure that out. And I think going into rapid again, if we can stay in the top six, we get a buy. Right now we're fifth, so we've got two to go. We need to win them, and then we'll be no worse than fifth. So first order of business is get ready for the next match, and if we can take care of business one at a time, we'll get a bye, give us a chance to work a little bit harder, and um, I like our chances. Um, Spearfish is doing well. Yankton's doing well. Central's doing well. Lincoln's doing well. They're all doing – I mean, everybody's fighting for that, that top spot. It's going to be, I think it's going to be the best tournament we've ever seen in South Dakota because there, I mean, anybody could beat anybody right now. Yeah, and um, our our good fortune is we'll only have to play one at a time. Two of them will have to play each other, and then we'll see who we play next. But if you had to run that gauntlet, all five of us in the top five in a row, it, you wouldn't make it. So it's going to be a to our advantage that half of us will bump each other out so that when you get down to the last couple matches, just win three. And that's what I keep telling the boys. We don't have to win eight, just win three. Well, that's a tournament, you know, three good games and, and you're hoisting the cup. Well, Coach Dancer, thanks again for spending some time with us. Guys look pretty good today. I know uh, you'd rather walk out of here with a win, but, uh, you know, against a pretty darn good Stevens yep. team, uh, yep. ties no shame either. Their record is not any indication of how good they are. I'm telling you, if, uh, <laughs> I can't make any big adjustments over what they do. Again, we're both looking for a way to bury a ball, but the, the excellent players, well coached, um, and we're fortunate enough to just walk out of here with a tie, and we'll keep working. Thank you.